like to try and, you know, do a bit of exercise to try and keep myself healthy. I play squash, I play badminton. I like to run. But when I get a bit upset, I find it hard. But you can't always control emotions. You can't always control the way you feel. I don't always know where physically to, where to escape to. Since the Seven Families project has started, it's helped me in many different ways. Through CBT, you know, I, I see this uh, therapist called Brendan. We haven't had enough time to really put things into place, but you know, he's assessed me and he's kind of heard where I'm at. There was another lady called Lisa, my case manager, who I spoke to, and she, she kind of, you know, just kind of prompted me to search for some kind of voluntary work, and she was pretty helpful. It's, it's stuff that I already knew, but it was just nice to kind of be kind of prompted and guided, and she's going to do me a CV. And also, you know, with the money that I've got from Seven Families as well, it's, you know, it, it's helped me to, to do things. And one of the things I did was uh, I paid a thousand pounds to Red Driving School. And I had 10 in-car practical driving lessons and also 42 hours instructional lessons. But because of my emotional upset yesterday, I, I've decided that it's no longer fair for me to be a driving instructor. For me to train as a driving instructor will put too much pressure on me. And I want to stay safe, first and foremost. If I can't stay safe for myself, I can't stay safe for no one.